Hi friends. I want to read you one of my favorite stories. You might have heard it before. Here's the cover. The title is Where the Wild Things Are. How many words is that? Where the Wild Things Are. Five words. It says Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. So he wrote the words and made the pictures. And right here, what does this mean? It's a call to cat. It means it has really great pictures. So make sure you look at the pictures. And if you have this book at home, push pause, go get the book and read it along with me. All right, here we go. Where the wild things are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called him wild thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through a night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still and tamed them with his magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And a lot of wild rumpusing. Climbing on trees. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of the, where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. What a good book. Max really used his imagination in this book. And when you're stuck at home, 
You could do that too. Use your imagination and pretend. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.